Alright guys, how are you all doing? I'm Fiesta here and today we have AMD Ryzen 7000 X 3D CPU is gonna have a new box and also the temperature, the lower temperature have been confirmed. MSI is suggesting that GeForce RTX 4070 Ti is not as bad as RTX 4080 in terms of pricing. AMD Radeon's RX 7700S is around 12% faster compared to the predecessor in Geekbench. And lastly we have more images for the RTX 4080 Noctua edition which is around 4.3 slot thick cooler which is great. So firstly we have the AMD Ryzen 7 does an X3D processor having a distinct retail packaging according to Tech Power Up and if you look into it this is the packaging that they will be bringing in. It's a little bit different with this kind of design coming in both sides of the cooler which are not the cooler or the box. So yeah they're gonna be uh, a distinct uh, differentiation compared to the Ryzen 7000 non-X or non-X 3D series. So yeah, you, you can able you will be able to tell the difference, and I guess that will help the buyers to identify. We also have some temperature numbers, and if you look into it, that's the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D with the max operating temperature of 89 degrees. The Ryzen 9 7950X coming at 95 degrees, so around six degrees less in terms of operating the maximum operating temperature which is great because it's more efficient I guess. If you look into the 5800X3D it is 90 degrees so 1 degree less for the 7950X3D which again doesn't really matter but yeah it seems like it's gonna be more efficient and much faster so a better note it seems like. Next up we have MSI Gaming USA tweeting this like a towering pillar, the NVIDIA GeForce 4070 Ti is now on sale, which yes, this is a very beautiful card, I have to say. But they also mention as this, that uh, experience the power of the Ada Lovelace architecture at a cost of not as bad as a 4080. So they're mocking basically the RTX 4080, because RTX 4070 Ti in terms of, well, the pricing, its MSRP is quite lower. And, well, m m not for this model, I believe, it is going to be much more expensive because it's an overclocked model, a little bit of premium, but still, like, not as crazy as RTX 4080. So, yeah, that is very true, though, because they're really going for 799 at least cheaper, $100 cheaper than the expected pricing. So, that's good. Next up, we have AMD Radeon, R uh, uh, I should say, the mobile lineup, the RX 7700S got a Geekbench score of 81,145. Now, if you compare this to the previous generation, according to video cards here, if you look into it, this is the RTX 4070 laptop, which is getting 80, uh, well, 114,074, which is obviously a lot higher. And that's the RTX 4050. But if you look into the RX 7700S, we're getting around 81,145, which is not too far off compared to uh, 40 RTX 4050, but if you look into the 6700S, it's getting 72,317. So around 14% lead here for the RX 7700S. So yeah, it's, it's not the best in the whole lineup, as we, you can see, like it's literally losing to RTX 4050, so not really that good, but it is uh, winning against the 6700S because that's the you know, previous gen. But I wonder what AMD is going to provide to compete against, well, the RTX 4060 and the 4070. Because, you know, those laptop GPUs looking very good. So let's wait and see if AMD provides more uh, lineups in terms of mobile lineup. Yeah. Next up, we have Hardware Lux providing this information about the, well, the GeForce RTX 4080 Noctua edition. And we have more distinct pictures here. And if you look into it, this is the, well, in physical form, you know. And yeah, it, it is quite beautiful. The owl design is very beautiful, but the thickness though, it's, well, very thick, like crazy thick. Well, I kind of don't like this part. It's just, it looks very naked. The PCB is literally naked, has no like support or anything. I mean, not like that, just it really looks empty here. But this part, however, has some crazy cooling going on. That is for sure. And the card honestly looks beautiful. It's Noctua, you know, like nothing you can just complain about it. It's just Noctua. The actual Noctua fans are here. The premium fans are very quiet of them. They're pretty quiet. I mean, at least what they say. So we're going to test it out, hopefully. Like, not me, but and someone else. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how this GPU performs in terms of cooling. And of course, the performance will remain the same when the GPU comes in. So yeah. 
all right, that is it for today. Not so, not that much of a news, but still, like we are getting the first RX 7700s performance. Not looking that great, but then again, it's not gonna be performing crazy like as AMD suggests. So hopefully, they will have more SKUs ready for the competing against the well Nvidia lineup. So we'll see about that. And of course, what do you think about the X7000 X3D? What do you think? What would be the pricing? Because I believe that pricing should be much more, like much better than what we can expect, at least what AMD suggests. So we'll see.